Welcome back to Nomo Studio. In this video, we will try to solve this problem. Find the length and width of the rectangle if the perimeter of a rectangle is 24 centimeters and its area is 35 square centimeters. Let us first recall what is perimeter. So kapag sinabi nating perimeter, it is the sum of the lengths of all the side of a two-dimensional shape. So for this example, ang example po natin is rectangle, so we need to add all four sides. Halimbawa, if we have this rectangle, a two sides of 2 centimeters, and these sides are 4 centimeters. That means 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4. So that means the perimeter of this example is 12 centimeters. And of course, if we have to find the area of a rectangle, we just need to multiply the length of the rectangle by the width. So for this example, we need to multiply the length and the width. So 4 times 2 and that is equal to 8. That means ang area ng example na ito is 8 square centimeters. That means the formula for the perimeter of this rectangle is equal to 2 multiplied by the quantity length plus width. May magtatanong, sir, bakit ganyan yung formula? Di ba yung perimeter is the sum of all the sides? So, ibig sabihin, dito kasi sa rectangle, we have the so-called lengths and widths. So, ibig sabihin, dalawa yung lengths natin dito. Ito yung sa taas at saka sa baba. At may dalawang widths din dito, sa left at saka sa right. So, ibig sabihin, two lengths plus two widths is equals to the perimeter of a rectangle. At ang ginawa lang po natin is nag-factor out tayo. Nilabas natin yung 2. That means 2 times the length plus the width. Since we already know that the perimeter of our rectangle is 24 centimeters, so we have to substitute 24 sa ating formula. So now we have 24 equal to 2 multiplied by the quantity length plus width. Now, Let's multiply both sides by one half. So we have two times one half and that is equal to one. So dito sa kabila naman, one half multiplied by 24, that means it's 12. So now we have 12 equal to length plus width. This is now the simplified form. And now let's subtract length both sides. So, wala na po ang length dito kasi maka-cancel out. So, we have width equal to 12 minus length. Please do a quick recall that the area of a rectangle is equal to the length multiplied by its width. So, dito sa ating given rectangle, alam naman natin ang area is 35 square centimeters. That means, we have to substitute 35 sa ating formula. So, now, we have 35 equal to length multiplied by width. Ngayon, ano naman ang gagawin natin? So, we have to substitute this one dito sa ating formula. So, we have 35 equal to length multiplied by the quantity 12 minus length. Bakit? Di ba itong 12 minus length? Ito yung width galing dito. So, sinubstitute lang natin dito sa formula ni area so, let's now simplify this algebraic expression. So, we have 35 equal to 12 length minus length squared. Okay, so ang ginawa natin, distributive property lang po, ganito. Length times 12 and that is 12 length. Length times negative length and that is minus length squared. So, this is quite look like tricky. So, we have to let the length be the x. So this will become 35 equal to 12x minus x squared. So now let's add x squared both sides and let's subtract 12x both sides. So this is 0, this is 0. So now we have x squared minus 12x plus 35 equal to 0. 
ang gagawin naman po natin ngayon is to factor out this trinomial to get the value of x. Now, observe that the leading coefficient is 1 and the constant is 35. Ang gagawin po natin dito is hahanap tayo ng factors of 35 na kapag i-add natin will result to this middle term. So what are the factors of 35? So 1 times 35 and 7 times 5. So alin kaya dito yung kapag i-add daw natin will result to this number? So that means 7 and 5, di ba? Kasi 7 plus 5, that is 12. Pero imagine may negative. So that means negative 7 and negative 5. Kasi kapag i-add po natin yung negative 7 tsaka negative 5, it will result to negative 12. At kapag i-multiply naman natin ang negative 7 at saka negative 5, it will result to positive 35. That means the factor of this trinomial is the quantity x minus 5 multiplied by the quantity x minus 7, which is equal to 0. To check if this is really the factor of this trinomial, you can use FOIL method. So, we will check. So, x times x, that is x squared. x times negative 7, and that is negative 7x. Negative 5 times x, and that is negative 5x. Negative 5 times negative 7, and that is positive 35. So, we will simplify this one. Negative 7x minus 5x, and that is negative 12x. So, we have x squared minus 12x plus 35. So that means these factors is correct. Now, we will equate these two factors to 0. So x minus 5 equal to 0 and x minus 7 equal to 0. So we will now add 5 both sides here. So that means this is 0 and this is, so x is equals to 5. At dito naman po sa kabila, x minus 7 equals to 0, so we will add 7 both sides. So we have, this is 0, so x equal to 7. That means, our length and our width is 7 and 5. Siyempre, mas mahaba yung 7 kasi 7 is greater than 5. That means, 7 is our length and 5 is our width. Ganito na yung magiging itsura ng ating rectangle. Dito yung 7, tsaka 5. So, if we try to check the perimeter, di ba nga ang perimeter is to add all these sides. So, 5 plus 7, and that is 12. 12 plus 5, and that is 17. 17 plus 7, and that is 24. So, that means the perimeter is 24 centimeters. So, our answer is correct. How about the area? So, ang area is the length times width. So, that means 5 times 7 and that is 35. So, our area is 35 square centimeters. So, tama rin po yung area natin. Therefore, we can now say that our answer is correct. I hope you've learned so far sa ating review when it comes to perimeter and area of a rectangle. And if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. See you next time. Bye for now.